good afternoon, everybody. My name is Ben Aldsley. I'm the Electronic Resources Manager down in Dentistry. And I'm joined today by Aggie and online by Chloe and Max. So just before I start, the term augmented reality is often misunderstood. So I thought I'd give a definition from my friend uh, Wikipedia. And um, Wikipedia says that augmented reality is an interactive experience of a real world environment where objects that reside in the real world are enhanced by computer generated perceptual information. So the way I look at it is that it, you're, through your smartphone, you can actually um, see items and they're placed into the real world. So you'll see on this one, a face has been placed on, on the floor. So we're here today to talk about the Immersify Dental app. And this app is a augmented reality app, which is accessed on a smartphone um, via Android, Android or I iOS um, on tablets. And in September, there is a new web platform where students can access the content through there. The great thing about the app is that it teaches students clinical skills without them actually having to be in a clinical lab or patient facing. Um, and the way in which the app has been designed, it is aligned to all of the Bachelor of Dental Surgery and the BSc Oral Health um, curriculums, um, and also the General Dental Council um, learning outcomes. And these are really important to dental students because these GDC learning outcomes are the outcomes that they have to actually meet in order to become a dentist. Um, the content itself is designed by dentists and dental uh, clinicians, and it is designed to supplement traditional delivery, i.e. in the lab, in the patient's mouth, with interactive elements on your, on your phone. And these include things like lessons, topics, quizzes, and as you can see on the screen here, practical exercises that the students can actually do on their phone sat at home. One of the great things about the app is that you can also personalize it. So that means you can tailor the content into what you want to learn and what you're struggling with. And also it can be gamified or it is gamified. So that means that you can set challenges and uh, leaderboards and challenge your friends in your year group. A good way of getting students to actually engage with the content. I'm not going to read all these out because there's quite a lot of them. But as you can see, down the left hand side, we've got lots of different areas in which the app um, specialises. There's content for all of these different things down the left here. And by September, we're um, Immersify adding lots and lots of new content, as you can see, um, including local anaesthesia and endodontics, something that the students uh, struggle with at the moment. So I talked about the content being aligned to the BDS and BSc curricula. Uh, and this is great because it helps us not only um, integrate the content into the curriculum itself. So when the students are being taught a specific sub a subject, so tooth morphology, the anatomy of teeth, um, we make sure that they're aware that there's content in the Immersify Dental app at that time, which allows them to build on the skills that they're actually learning um, in, in the curriculum, in the lectures, in the labs, but also at home as well. And the great thing is that, that they love it because they can access it at any time, which is really, really helpful. Any place they can do it on the bus if they want to coming in, if they need uh, practice in a specific clinical procedure. Um, and I always say assists our student in preparations for the real world. Well, doesn't ever think. Um, there is exceptionally good reporting functions within the app itself which allows us to look at the usage and where the students have used, what topics they've used, and identify not only areas that they're struggling with, um, but also that, um, that, that they might not have enough um, teaching on. The use um, of the app goes up like skyrockets when there are exams, um, and we've seen this this year as well. Um, and it's great for the students themselves to have their own app to be able to do something on their own, independent of the university as well. 
So we began with a two-week pilot back in January 2021 with about 14 um, students, and they were year reps, um, people who were interested in technology, and a couple of staff members. And as you can see, we had quite a lot of attempts at the practicals, and we had 66 logins. And as a result of this, we decided with Aggie's help to um, to ask Central IT for some money and to actually purchase the app. That happened in September, thanks to a lot of work behind the scenes by a lot of people. Um, we were Wait, Ben, <laughs> we were we were able to launch the app um, in September. And these are just some stats on its usage since then. You have to bear in mind that I deliberately didn't advertise the app to the whole of the um, whole of the student body during induction, and we have deliberately targeted um, places in the curriculum where we advertise the app. I'm sure I could up these numbers and sort of fudge them a bit if I if I sent an email to all students tomorrow and say download the app, but actually that doesn't help them because it means that they they might not be learning that that subject at that specific time. So. Curriculum integration-wise, it's been important um, to 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 tell them when to use the app or to, to advise them when they're using the app. Um, this is my favourite and my second to last slide because I was reading the Student Dental Mirror publication that um, they produce every couple of months. Students themselves write this. I have no knowledge and no input into this article. And I came across this article, which is all about the Immersify um, app, and they've done this independently of me, independently of everyone. They've just written this article in the Dental Mirror. And um, my favourite line from it is the last line, which is, this app will no doubt revolutionise the way we study in the current digital, digital age for the better. Um, and me, Aggie, and the team from Immersify were absolutely delighted with this because it means that they're taking the app seriously, they're using the app, and they actually want to um, to advertise it to other students through the dental mirror. So that was really great. Okay, I'm going to now hand over to. Are you, have you got something to say, Aggie? Uh, I was I was going to propose, propose if if uh, Chloe and Max um, are uh, ready to do, do a demo a bit of a demo. That's a good idea. Um, yeah, I, I guess I guess from the perspective of IT, I was really excited to get uh, uh, at the very start of this journey, uh, learn learn about Immersify app. Uh, Max, Chloe, and I um, had a quick catch up. It was a it was a new app, new adventure, I think, for you, uh, Chloe, as well. Um, and within within a couple of years, this um, app development uh, got mature enough to be not only suitable, but also desirable by Queen Mary students. So guys, incredible, um, incredible, incredible achievement there. And, and yeah, with Ben's help uh, spreading the word and really uh, implementing support, implementing information packs, um, integrating it with curriculum rather than pushing information out about it. I think we're seeing a great uptake and a, and a good return on the investment by what I'm hearing from Ben. So thank you. <laughs> no, thank you so much. Um, yeah, no, absolutely. It's been wonderful. Um, it's wonderful working with you, with you both. And um, yeah, it's just been amazing the feedback. Yeah, absolutely. I think that when we see kind of big peaks of, you know, students using it from Queen Mary for three or four hours at a time, it's just really encouraging to see that you know, they're playing, getting involved. And like I say, that, that article in the, the, the Mirror um, publication was really good as well, particularly because we haven't pushed anyone for it. And they just kind of want to kind of share it and, and get it out to all of their peers and friends. But uh, but yeah, I, unless you've got any questions beforehand, I'm happy to share my screen and take you through a bit of the platform and you can see uh, some of the experiences and how we kind of go about um, delivering some of the content. I'll make that a little bit bigger as well. Right, so yeah, this is the um, interface for the platform. So to be honest, it's really kind of built with with students in mind with the kind of learners and the modern generation of students so there's lots of like quick access links to all your favorite experiences loads of different types of content different styles of content within the platform because we want it to be something that 
is accessible to all learners, regardless of your learning style, your uh, whether you, know, you, you want to watch or whether you want to listen, whether you want to kind of interact, there's different bits of content for you. And as Ben mentioned, there's lots of kind of personalization within the platform that points you in the direction of areas that you might be interested in based on your previous um, previous playing history or bits that you're struggling with, areas that you can improve or even that your, your peers are really enjoying. So this is, yeah, I'll take you through a little bit. So there's lots of different sections within the platform. There's, I'll, it it's kind of um, sits on three pillars. So there's learn, experience and connect. So there's learn, there's lots of different challenges that they can play and then a connect section as well where they can share kind of blog posts and information. But I'll take you, I'll take you mostly through the, the learn section. Um, so what, what you can do initially is when you first get involved, so we, we go through the single sign up, but there's a bit of an onboarding process where you can select your interests and you can kind of narrow that down into all the areas that you're, you're you know, do you want to kind of learn. And there's a range of different topics. So um, within a single topic, so if I was to open, say, dental charting, there's lots of different activities. So in this example, there's three lessons followed by an experience. So I'll take you through an experience because I think that's, yeah, I'll, and I'll take you through some lessons as well because we've got a few different styles of lesson, but where we kind of differ from a lot of different software, educational software, is the experiences really kind of bridge that gap between theory and practical. So you're not just trying to memorize or regurgitate information you can actually put that in put that into practice while you're studying so we work really closely with academics with students and define what are the difficult bits of a subject so in this example one thing that came up was notation systems um, but when I click play, you'll see, because I'm just sharing exactly what's on my, my device, it then reverts to my phone's camera. So this is our office space here. And immediately it's detected the, the floor. And this is one of our implementations of augmented reality. So when I click uh, place model, you'll see our phantom head appears. And what I can do is I can uh, make that a little bit higher up so I don't break my back. <laughs> and I can uh, tap on the cheek to retract that away. And what's fantastic about this is because it's, uh, we've got some algorithms at the back end of this that means that you could play this, it'll randomly generate the teeth, so you could play it a trillion times and it wouldn't be the same patient. And then when I click play, because it's, it's charting, it'll give me a, an instrument, which will be a, a mirror. And because the, the actual mirror is attached to my phone, so that, that stays static in the middle of the screen, but the patient is kind of fixed to the floor, when I actually bring that mirror into the patient's mouth, I can actually use that instrument as you would, and immediately I can see in the mirror there, it looks like some early caries on that uh, upper left two. And on this other side, it looks like there's a fracture there as well on the upper right one. So what I can do is I can open that interactive chart and I can say, right, what did I find? And I can kind of go through this process as much or as little as I want until I have the confidence to go into the clinic. But I can find, say, the upper left two that looked like it had some early caries on the incisal surface. And then the left one was uh, um, the right one was a fracture. And there's loads of different things to find. There's everything from kind of veneers, all the all the kind of common things that they would come across. Crowns, ceramic, uh, gold, there might be some restorations there as well. And then when I click submit, it'll then give me that instant personalised feedback. And that's what we try and have all throughout the platform is that instant feedback and that instant results and how you can kind of grow and learn from all the decisions that you make. And you can fail safely as well, which is key, obviously, in dentistry to, to be able to have that opportunity to have simulations, just, you know, when and as you need to and different types of patients and go through that patient journey and, yeah, do different procedures um, when, when you want to, then, yeah, the key of freedom of learning. Yeah. So you can see I, I found the, the fracture there. I also um, found that early caries, but missed several different things. Um, but when I could, uh, so I could, I could then move on to the next patient. So I actually lost all my life in this particular one. But if I was to find more of those things, I could then move on to the next patient. And it'll be randomised, completely different. You can kind of keep practising. Um, lots of like suggestions of what you could try next based on your, um, based on your previous kind of playing. But that is, just kind of one of the experiences. So there's loads of different um, different styles and each experience, you know, there's a fantastic one, local anesthesia, which I think Ben mentioned before, it's an area that they really struggle with. One of one that's really popular is um, within our muscles of the head. 
uh, topic. So there's lots of different lessons and a few experiences within this. But anatomy has proved via very encouraging popular with students that it's a mechanism to kind of learn the information that is otherwise can be quite difficult and dry to actually um, memorize from just the diagram. So what we do is um, you know, superimpose a skull using augmented reality again, but a slightly different implementation. And the goal is to find the origin and insertion points of each muscle. So in this one, it's asking me to do the mass, uh, masseter inferior left. So if I was to go here, oh, all right. and then you get points or score based on proximity. So how close you were um, will give you a different score. And each time it's a new muscle. So in this one, let's see if I can get that there. And the idea is to build up all the muscles of the, the head and neck. And once you actually finish and you've done, I won't do them all this in this demo, but once you've complete them all, it'll then just let you go back and correct your mistakes. So all the things that you, all the ones that you struggled with, you can go back and try those again. And then you can, again, play this as many times as you want, you know, until you've got a good, in fact, a testament <laughs> that I actually managed to get too close enough. Because <laughs> I've never, never studied this without using this, uh, using this platform. Um, yeah, and I'll take through just a couple of our lessons and then maybe to kind of quickly power through some some experiences as well. So the lessons, there's a few different types. So we've got um, kind of like self-paced lessons, but this allows them to have all the information that they could need at the touch of their fingertips. And it's intentionally designed to be very kind of concise, quick. So each one is its own point. And then this top panel here is actually a 3D model that I can rotate and zoom and kind of have a look around. So as I'm learning that information, I'm able to get a feel for the instruments, get a feel for the, uh, you know, what it kind of looks like. And it, it helps kind of build those neurological connections for, for learning. Um, and all the information is written by experts. Uh, we've got people like uh, uh, partnerships with Oxford University Press, for example, and we work with lots of different academics in order to create content depending on areas of expertise. You can, there's a little button in the bottom left here that will let you quickly jump to different areas. So I could quickly jump to hand pieces if I was just a bit unsure, maybe even in clinic of what a certain thing was, I can always find it within the Immersify platform. And when I get to the end of each, um, of each lesson, cycle quickly to the end, there's then a multiple choice quiz that kind of tests your knowledge on the subject and creates this kind of progression system throughout the platform. So you can start out with the, the easier stuff, but if you're very confident, very comfortable with that, you can quickly run through the, the multiple choice quizzes and unlock the next things as well. But that's just kind of one of the types of lessons. So there's a there's a few different within the platform. So I think my internet's a little bit dodgy here. I'll just go into it quickly. What am I going for? Um, I think my internet's just frozen on me here. Can you hear me okay? Mm. See if it's just my phone, I'll just close it. Yeah, so I'll take you through next uh, just one of our and um, one of our animations. So we've got different versions of lessons. Sometimes we have that self-paced format where you kind of cycle through each point, and then sometimes we'll have um, things like the this animated lesson. Yeah, so a lot of the um, lessons have, uh, well, all of the lessons really have voiceover. Um, and because the applications, the platforms use globally, um, the students can actually choose what accent um, and, and language they'd like the um, tutors to be in. And um, so I think currently this one is Australian, Addison. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, but you obviously can choose. It different. protects the cerebral cortex. I'll just cycle back to the beginning. So each of the, the lessons is designed to be, you know, kind of about five to ten minutes long. So it's just kind of that quick, concise information. So the cranium is composed of 22 bones in total. Anatomically, it is divided into two portions, the neurocranium, which protects the brain, and the viscerocranium, which... So I'll just uh, I'll just mute that. But as you can see, it kind of goes through all the different parts of the skull. As this 3D model, you can rotate this around yourself and have a look in your own. But it'll also kind of take you through all the different points. 
And then once you're comfortable, there's a, um, an experience that allows you to kind of drag a flag onto each of the bones to get a good kind of understanding of each of them. There's a similar one for the um, anatomy related to BPE. So I'll just show you that, um, which kind of gives you a, a diagram, but asks you to kind of drag a different, I think this is one. <laughs> It just is a kind of more interactive way to kind of learn and absorb the information. I think. Doing well. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, we've got lots of different types of experiences. Some use augmented reality, some don't, some are um, um, not loads. Yeah, some are um, use the random generation, some use AI. There's lots of different kind of, we, we try to use technology to en enrich all the experiences but we, we won't just use it for the sake of using it it has to kind of add value to the platform so in this one we don't use augmented reality but we do use the random generation and each time it'll be a different patient with different symptoms of, of perio there might be bleeding this is a bad example because it's got particularly good dental health <laughs> <laughs> which is always the case but if i restart you'll see the random generation in action we'll get a completely different patient which also has very good dental health. <laughs> um, we will get a bit of a bleeding. Just restart one more time, see if I can. Third time, okay. There mm. we go. Looks like we've got That's some bit. bits of calculus here. So um, cycle through, it looks like some bleeding as well that I can just see coming through. And each one I need to kind of assign a score to. So I think like. That. That questions? Yeah, so uh, Max and Chloe, thank you very much for this uh, extremely realistic <laughs> <laughs> representation of uh, of the reality. Um, we were joined a little bit um, earlier by Rachel Burns. Hello. Hi, I'm the Chief Information Officer, so uh, thank you so much for the demo. It's absolutely amazing, really amazing.